guys, Coach Tommy here. Today's video is gonna be about water and weight loss and how that could be keeping you from reaching your fitness or nutrition goals. Water is one of those hidden factors that I think people don't ever think about that could be causing them not to lose weight or that could be causing them to have poor performance. So today we're gonna go over our daily water intake needs and then we're gonna talk about six reasons why you should be paying attention and why water is so important in our body and in our weight loss. So first, let's just talk about overall, overall, we should be taking in about a gallon a day. If you've ever been into like 24 hour fitness or one of those globo gyms and you always see these bodybuilders carrying around a jug, gallon jug of water, there's a reason behind it. Most of them are trying to target one gallon per day. That doesn't necessarily have anything to do with their size they're male or female, that's just overall, try to get in a gallon a day and it's gonna make your fitness, your performance, the, your body build look way better. So even when I was doing bodybuilding, that was one of my targets that I tried to hit every single day was a gallon of water. And even my male counterparts that weighed 225 were still taking in a gallon. So if you're struggling with a gallon and you're somebody who's a little bit smaller, then we can start looking at maybe an ounce per body weight that might be a little bit more doable, but again, we're not gonna be wanting to go over that gallon intake. So if you're somebody who's a little bit bigger, don't be trying to do an ounce per body weight. That's gonna be way too much water, and you're gonna have a really hard time eating on top of taking in all that water. So overarching, make sure we're getting in a gallon, and now we're gonna dive into those reasons as to why that's so important and why we need to be paying attention to that. So number one, water is a natural appetite suppressant. Uh, it's pretty common knowledge that if you start drinking a lot of water, you're probably not that hungry. Your body's gonna have that, that feeling of fullness and you're not gonna want to eat quite as much. So once you start tracking, trying to keep a gallon of water a day, you're gonna stop eating those little snacks. Maybe if you're fasting for the first time, this would be a great tool to try to start using to see if that's gonna help you stay on your fast longer. Is if during that fasted period that you're awake, you're constantly taking in that water and you're paying attention and trying to get in so many ounces before you break your fast, that's really gonna help tide you over and help you keep your focus on achieving something versus not having something. So water is a natural appetite suppressant. When we start drinking a whole bunch of water for the first time, we do wanna try to remember to add some type of natural electrolyte. So we are looking at lemon, or my favorite is liquid IV. Granted, that is a little bit on the sweet side. They do have some extra sugars in there to make it taste good. Think of pretty much like a homemade Gatorade. But it does have a lot of really, really cool scientific backing on how that's gonna help you stay hydrated a little bit better. A lot of people will start saying they feel waterlogged, and that's usually because they're not getting in enough electrolytes, so their balance is a little off and they're feeling a little not their best. So they're feeling bloated and all that kind of stuff. So that's the number one thing to pay attention to when you start adding that in. Um, look at number two. So water increases our calorie burning ability. So just like anything else in your car and anything like that, we need lubrication to make things work. So think of that as water being lubrication to help you burn calories, to help you process food, to help your body jumpstart any of its natural processes. So it is very, very important to whenever we're looking at trying to lose fat specifically, we want to up that water intake and we wanna be mindful of how much water we're taking in. So number three, this one's a funny one for me because I tend to ask people this pretty openly and it can be a kind of an uncomfortable conversation, but water helps us remove waste from the body. So AKA, how much are you pooping? Are you having regular bowel movements? If not, you need to look at your water intake. And if you're somebody who's trying to lose a lot of weight or are maybe fasting for the first time and adding in a whole bunch of calories in one setting and that eating window is really small, if you're not drinking enough water, you're gonna get backed up, okay? So just like the two previous, water helps us move our system, helps us get things going. It's also gonna help regulate you and keep you feeling better and help you flush out any of that stuff that maybe that fiber is grabbing a hold of and trying to get out of your system. So if you're experiencing quite a bit of bloating, maybe some swelling and some tiredness, and you're eating pretty clean, really take a look at your water intake and see how far off you are from a gallon a day, and that could help you alleviate a lot of those symptoms. I know a lot of people come to me and they're like, oh, I can't have oats, I can't have sweet potato. Every time I do, I get bloated, I have indigestion, I have all these issues. 
number one question I usually ask them is how much water are you drinking? Because when we start adding in all these really nutrient dense foods, it is going to take a little bit longer for your body to process and it is going to be trying to cleanse your body in the process. So if we're not drinking enough water, we are going to get backed up. And for a lot of you, you're going to be eating way more protein than you've ever ate in your life. And that is another part of that system that we want to make sure that we're really flushing everything out. So number four, drinking water can reduce overall liquid calorie intake. I feel like this is a little bit of a known brainer. If you think about it, if I'm constantly thinking about drinking water, I'm not going to be drinking anything else. I myself have tried to pay a little bit more attention this last week because we have a diet challenge going on in our gym. And I noticed that my second cup of coffee is just not happening. I drink my first cup in the morning and then I'm mindful of trying to drink as much water as I can. And I don't have the time to drink in that extra coffee that might have a little bit of added sugar and carbs and fats and calories that I don't really need. So no brainer there. If you're used to drinking juices, energy drinks, or anything like that to get you going, uh, if you start paying more attention to your water intake, you're naturally going to decrease those calories because you're not going to have the ability to do both and it'll be a one or the other. So that's just kind of a no brainer. Once you start increasing your water intake, it's immediately going to drop some of those calories out. It will also help with that idea of fatigue. So sometimes we will get that response if we are dehydrated. So making sure that we evaluate, if I've had a good night's rest and I'm reaching for that third cup of coffee, maybe I should start drinking some more water and see how I feel after that. Okay, uh, number five, we're gonna get a little scientific here. Water is necessary to burn fat. So what I mean by that is the body cannot metabolize stored fat without water. So the first step in metabolizing stored fat, meaning fat that I wanna get rid of that's already on my body, has to come from drinking enough water. It's on a molecular level, what's happening to those cells is that they have to be hydrated first before we can get rid of them and do anything else with them. It's that first step of metabolizing. So without enough adequate water, you're not gonna see those body composition changes that you want to. I've had plenty of people that I talk to that work their butt off in the gym. They're eating pretty clean, pretty healthy consistently, and their body composition is not changing. They might be drinking a couple glasses of water, maybe two bottles of water a day. So we really need to pay attention to this really highly overlooked liquid gold pretty much is our water intake. So our body cannot metabolize stored fat and it can't actually interact with any of the other processes that are trying to go on in our body as well. So trying to metabolize even just the food that you are intaking, like I said, previous one, we're gonna get backed up. Two, we're not even gonna be able to access that fat storage to break it down. So uh, number six, if you're looking at performance based, you need to make sure, need to make sure that you're getting in the adequate amount of water. Dehydration will decrease your ability to have cardiovascular performance. You won't even realize it until after. So if you've ever noticed that maybe you're a little hungover after the weekend and you come into the gym and you're breathing harder, you're having a hard time, you're like, man, this workout normally wouldn't even bother me and now I'm dying, it's caused by dehydration. So. I'm gonna throw up a graphic over here, and basically this is just, if you're looking at performance base, here's some tips for to help you regulate when that water should be given and when you should be taking it. So about two to three hours before, you should be having at least one bottle of water. Um, that's anywhere between 17 to 20 ounces. I'm not talking about like a huge liter, I'm talking about like just a standard size bottle of water. This is gonna help preload so that your cells and everything is gonna be functioning, you're gonna be ready to go, everything's gonna be top notch. And then if you are going to have a long session in the gym or even a long endurance piece cardiovascular, every 20 minutes you should be taking in at least half a bottle of water, okay? Um, again, standard size, that's just a couple of chugs. That's not gonna be anything that's gonna make you start like wanting to throw up or stop completely doing whatever you're doing. Um, it's really important that we pay attention to hydrating during those longer sessions and as coaches or as athletes, making sure that you advocate for yourself to make sure that you have that available and you are taking in that water that you need. Uh, finally, after, we need about one and a half bottles of water to replenish. This is a great time for that liquid IV or post-workout shake that has all kinds of recovery stuff in it. We talk about that all the time. The reason being is because not even not just your water levels that are gonna be low and you could be dehydrating after a workout. 
you're also your glycogen storages are going to be low so it needs that sugar so that's the perfect time to have one of those gatorade type things i tend to enjoy the liquid ivs a little bit more gatorade tends to have a lot of extras liquid iv has mostly just salt and pretty much just a little bit of sugar and it's gonna have a lot of other nutrients in there that you need that your body's gonna absorb immediately after a workout. So it's really important to pay attention to that and be okay with a little bit of extra sugar at that specific time is gonna be fine. It's not gonna do anything dramatic to whatever goals that you're trying to achieve. Uh, make sure that you find some type of bottle or jug that you can monitor how much water you're having. I'm kind of a water snob so I don't like warm water, I like ice cold water, and I like filtered water, I can tell the difference, I know it's annoying, I'm one of those people. But what I ended up buying was this hydro jug, so it's a half gallon. So if I don't even drink one of these a day, I know that I'm highly under drinking the water intake that I need. But it is stainless steel, so it stays nice and cold. So I can take it out to the beach, I can take it to the gym, I can make sure that I have cold water available at all times and then I can kind of keep an eye on it and see how close I am to that. If by three o'clock I haven't finished at least one of these, I know that I'm probably not gonna be anywhere near a gallon. So it's really important also to make sure that you just like anything else that we do, we plan ahead, we make sure we have a bottle, we make sure we have jug, we make sure we have something that we can monitor and that we can keep track of and so that we can really, really pay attention to that water intake. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.